we often accept a lot of tasks and responsibilities. And when we have 30, 40, 50, 100 different things that we have to do in a very short time, what happens? Our mind can't focus. In Mahabharat, there is a story of the Pandav brothers being trained by Dronacharya in archery. And there's one particular story where to train these brothers, uh, Dronacharya takes them to a forest and on a tree, he puts a wooden pigeon or a wooden bird. And then the target given to the Pandava brothers is they have to shoot the eye of that bird with an arrow, bow and arrow. And then he calls the Pandava brothers one by one. So first he calls Yudhishthir and the story goes that he says, he asks him, that's the goal, that's a target. And Yudhishthir is now preparing to shoot. And then he asks Yudhishthir, what do you see? And he says, I can see the bird, I can see the eye of the bird, I can see the branches, I can see other things. And then Dronacharya says, you know what, no, you, you stand aside. He calls the next, next person. So one by one they come and everybody talks about all the things that they are seeing. And then he calls Arjun. And Arjun is aiming. Then he asks him, what do you see? He said, I can see only the eye of the bird. Then he said, okay, you can release the arrow. And then he shoots and he hits the target. Now, what was the difference between Arjun and the rest of his brothers? The difference was, Arjun could only see one thing, which means he was able to eliminate everything else. Nothing else was there in his field of vision. And that is why we are saying Arjun was focused. It's a simple story, but it tells something very powerful, which is that focus is about elimination. This elimination in your life, it can be done in many, many ways. So as an example, we often accept a lot of tasks and responsibilities. And when we have 30, 40, 50, 100 different things that we have to do in a very short time, what happens? Our mind can't focus. But if we could eliminate those things, not all of them, at least some of them, what will happen? Now we have fewer things, we can focus better. Also, when you're working on something, if your mind has clarity that, okay, this particular task is my topmost priority, everything else is less important, or for now I don't care, your mind is able to eliminate them. Once you eliminate, you can automatically focus. But if your mind thinks, oh, this is important, that's also important, other things are important, then what happens? Now, like other Pandava brothers, you can see the eye of the bird, but you can see all these other things as well. And therefore, you are not able to focus. So here is a very simple but effective message I want to leave with you. Focus equals elimination. Eliminate as many things from your life as possible. The low-value stuff, let them go. If you get an email from somebody who says, hey, let's get on a call, let's meet for a coffee. I'm not saying you should not do those things. Once in a while, in controlled, in a measured manner, those things can be valuable. But we often accept too many commitments. And when too many things are happening, what happens? Now, you don't just see the eye of the bird, you are seeing all these other things. And that is why we are so unfocused. So whether it's in office setting, personal life, wherever, eliminate, focus, and then shoot.